Uh, good morning, everybody. And my name is Jerry Jing. I really appreciate you get up so early uh, to attend my lecture. Here, uh, the talk title is about the trend of renewable energy technology and energy blockchain. Uh, I currently stay in Ningbo University. Uh, my, time, uh, my time is afternoon. Let me see the screen, okay. The topic of uh, the outline is divided into six sections. And I'll go uh, in terms of the background and talk about what's the problem, how do I go about it, and what are the uh, results uh, and product uh, in our development. And finally, I will give you some takeaways from the seminar. As you're seeing in this uh, uh, screen, this slide shows on the left hand side the pain, and we uh, have all seen the fires and dry seasons, particularly in California, where I came from, and uh, the fire season was uh, on record. And, uh, and this uh, problem present huge challenges in terms of the energy demand. Here are the list of them, and the energy will impact, uh, has been impacting the climate change and has impact on environmental issues. Moreover, the fossil fuels has limited the supply. So uh, we have to look uh, deeply into the solution. Now, right hand side you're seeing is uh, the significance of renewable energy solution. And we can present uh, uh, the many technologies uh, with uh, clean energy. I will go into several cases later on. Uh, the energy uh, would be, uh, have good uh, sustainability with little or no carbon emission. And all of that can mitigate the climate uh, uh, change. Showing in the middle lower portion is the temperature monitoring over the last 160 years by NASA. And this graph clearly show the temperature from the Earth surface is correlated with the carbon concentration. The unit on the left-hand side is a PPM of carbon dioxide. Pardon me, some of uh, the label are uh, showing a different language. Um, but I'll assure you that throughout this presentation, it's English. Look into the recent development, there is, uh, uh, there has been a big conference for celebrating United Nations for 75 years anniversary and going forward. And in, over that meeting reviewed the, the NDC uh, on climate change issues. And the initial agreement came out from the Paris uh, Convention uh, for typically called the Paris Agreement. Now in the graph you are seeing the carbon emission over the next few decades uh, as agreed in the high convention. The target we can see here is listed um, in terms of China and also um, you have other countries. Uh, uh, their chart is a bit similar. Uh, Chinese com uh, has committed to reach zero uh, foot, uh, carbon footprint in year 2060. And this neutrality is very significant uh, to control the temperature trajectory. Uh, the countries like Japan and Germany, uh, their commitment as a national uh, determined contribution is at uh, 2050. Now, this slide shows the electricity generation structure. Uh, by color coding, you can see the coal uh, electricity, gas electricity, hydroelectricity, and nuclear electricity by partition. The, uh, the biofuel is shown the, uh, the green one, 
and the yellow one is the solar electricity, you see the increased percentage of, in terms of uh, power generation, the unit is terawatt hours. Um, we have done many prior works uh, in my group and in my company, as well as I joined uh, um, a different group uh, in collaboration to study the alternative energy sources. This slide shows you uh, an illustration of what we have, like wind, power, solar, solar uh, thermal, uh, ocean thermal uh, in terms of all tech technology, and geothermal as well as the clean coal. Upper right corner is a little cartoon showing how the household, the residentials can integrate all the available technology uh, to produce electricity as a, at a distributed energy source. Uh, we'll put it together uh, as uh, uh, you see with energy blockchain. The energy blockchain uh, has many advantages. I will go on in the next few slides. Uh, it has good privacy and also it's transparent uh, due to the connections uh, uh, you see in this uh, middle of the graph. It, the EBC will achieve the long promised breakthrough by IoT Internet of Things. And basically customers uh, shake hand or producer as well as uh, uh, the consumers. Um, and the consumer being termed as uh, uh, the uh, user who produces energy as well as uh, consumes energy. So it's got it. Consumer. As the virtual, uh, in the virtual world, these different uh, users can uh, connect. And uh, uh, in cyberspace, you can reach the contract ledger and monitor uh, the process. Moreover, we can control the cost uh, and as well as using software to optimize the value. The EBC currently has a, a typical distribution. The major players worldwide is shown uh, in this slide and uh, the different agreement uh, is shown on the color coded uh, the squares on the right. Um, the spectrum showing some company like LO3 can reach you know, the active grid and produce uh, uh, the transactions and so on and so forth. Uh, many of those showing on the lower right uh, side is uh, Paul Ledger and developed with the government grants, supports by government. And the blockchain technology is being now rapidly developed. In terms of major uh, development, one of them is the IBM. Uh, they provided one survey called the climate impact uh, to estimate the energy footprint. It connects input uh, from customers, the users, and also from the producers on the right, such as the manufacturer. Through the cloud and the background, the IBM is able to uh, output uh, consumer uh, interactive screen and then the crowd will give uh, what is the footprint of the energy uh, customers using. So let's look at uh, in the blockchain in cyberspace. Typically, we can look into as the three layers of the energy uh, internet of things. It has uh, uh, the in cyberspace, and it also has uh, the intelligence in the background. By intelligence, I mean uh, there's a self-healing effect. If we, uh, the imagine situation, a case, one point of the grid, and maybe um, electricity is disrupted. Now, in cyberspace, uh, the advantage is they can calculate in the background and provide you the source you can get electricity from 
if the north is broken, you can come up from the south, from the east, and from the west. And also, customer has a tool to uh, choose what type of uh, the energy source, like renewable energy, we would like to uh, pay more. In, uh, over the left hand side, you're seeing is the ocean uh, thermal uh, energy conversion based, OTAC based uh, as the EBC. On the right hand side, uh, you're seeing, uh, I have shown the OTAC with the other sources, solar and uh, wind power, as well as the traditional coal. Now, the OTAC and EBC structure is shown uh, in this uh, case study. And basically, left hand side of the shells, we have a computer added uh, controlling uh, deliver the command of the whole system. Uh, the source of supply, left hand side is the OTAC, and then you have solar PV and wind power. All these power uh, 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 collected and uh, transformed by the ACDC uh, converter. There's a major component to the battery and the energy storage is very important to, to provide a quality uh, for the power supply to uh, customers. In this scheme, uh, a customer have a choice if we have enough the self-produced uh, dis distributed energy source then you uh, particularly in the peak hours, you can use your own power. And if it's not enough, you can buy, uh, you see the grid connected with a smart meter and connecting to you know, this particular locality. And so this particular combination enables the user to make a judgment, uh, probably go through optimization optimize what's the input, what's the output, and collect the price differences during the peak and valley electric, electric bill. Now let me go to the next slide showing you a typical simulation, which basically collects several power and energy storage, showing in the blue area is the solar power and the solar power itself, uh, we used two um, configuration, 800 kilowatt and 1.2 megawatt. OTAC is more stabilized. Uh, OTAC uh, to um, illustrate a little more detail, it generates electricity and converts from the temperature difference of the surface sea water from the deep sea uh, as you know, the deep sea is always cold due to gravity. Temperature stays at 4 degrees Celsius. Well, as the surface area, the temperature could be as high as uh, 20 plus degrees Celsius, like 27. And ours, uh, we also control the heat uh, produced and can have solar enhanced surface uh, seawater temperature. Yeah, other values of OTAC, uh, I am saving the time here now uh, without getting into that. Uh, the cost uh, for the consumer power uh, is also listed in the middle uh, column. And there's a peak and valley difference. And you see over here, the case we started is a large uh, uh, user with 2.4 kilowatt at peak hours. And even in time, the power is smaller. Energy storage is large, and uh, we also approach, uh, have a distinct uh, uh, approach to the energy storage so that uh, the, uh, not in addition to the quality of uh, the ES, and also it can have a lifetime. Uh, very good for uh, the user. Last column um, produce the grid power. Uh, in next slide, actually, uh, I will go into the pricing, the financial gain, so we can add a financial with the price schedule from uh, the market. 
And here is a comparison. The slide shows the OTAC versus uh, other clean uh, energy. The first row is the solar, uh, solar energy. And the second row is wind power. Third row is OTAC and so on, so forth. The column showing uh, the clean tech uh, and uh, their efficiency as they have achieved. Finally, is the status or now advantage of EBC can be illustrated as uh, uh, three bullet here. Uh, firstly, uh, the energy blockchain enables the ledger smart contract. And it has great efficiency, very convenient uh, to provide the uh, consensus for the user and the supplier to uh, reach a deal. And also EBC uh, has advantages of uh, secure encryption. And it has other advantages like secure and transparency altogether, which she across good technology, uh, for example, can be reached with uh, a swarming you know, algorithm. It can avoid during the process of transaction any other flood uh, in the course of a trading. Moreover, the values of energy uh, can, uh, of EBC can be achieved. Let me show you uh, what's the value in terms of mathematical model in two slides, pardon me. Um, here, this slide, for some of you, I can show the formula, pardon me. We'll get to that, I promise. And uh, this slide is showing the more advantages. With the EBC, you can mitigate the variation of the power uh, particularly cut the peak and uh, fill the valley and uh, the total power would be very uh, of high quality. Uh, for any distributed, uh, uh, distributed uh, the power supply, your customers can get uh, on-site uh, energy and it can improve um, the energy use uh, more fully uh, without abandoning uh, the wind or solar. Um, as we all know, currently, the wind and solar uh, power has a challenge to uh, go on grid. Now, the major reason is its stability. The production probably produced in area less settled in population and then uh, you need it to be transported. And now transportation process for quite a long uh, distance and uh, great commodity. Uh, for example, in China, the waste from Xinjiang province is about two thirds uh, not being used uh, and electricity uh, cannot be uh, transported into more developed areas. Therefore, uh, we can uh, achieve very good value with EBC. Uh, it is one of the best choices uh, in providing electricity. And also it can save money. Now, here is a brief uh, SWOT analysis uh, for the energy blockchain. The strength is financially, um, it's uh, secure and uh, also has add values it can significantly improve the use of renewable energy. And the Internet of Things has other nice features such as self-healing, which is very desirable. And uh, it can have good uh, terminal intelligence uh, for user to, uh, to basically develop a new application if they want. There is a weakness, it's new and therefore the cost of innovation in the early introduction is relatively high. Now the opportunity is huge and there's a great uh, potential to fully use uh, the renewable energy infrastructure. Um, there's some threat, mainly the privacy uh, threats. And if um, 
for some reason got data breach and then your energy, your usage is being uh, observable by external. Here is the promised math model. And in this uh, um, particular chart, uh, we put together the, uh, you can uh, see the screen on the left hand side, the financial output as uh, uh, its dependence on the input parameters like uh, power generation, as uh, a consumer, their uh, power, and also uh, it's related to energy storage uh, in comparison you may uh, choose to use a grid uh, if, uh, in case of need. And each of these power supply are not fully equal, and therefore there are some the figure of factors uh, showing on the right column. And the right column basically uh, talks about efficiency, like um, alpha one is uh, solar intensity related. They are shiny days with great sunshine. There's some time clouds may go by. Therefore, the overall uh, effect uh, of how the solar power is provided would be an integration, sum it up of all the solar over the day. And even in there is no uh, sunlight. Uh, in the case of the consumer factor, uh, consumption also varies. Uh, uh, in household uh, appliances, you turn on and off um, at will, and therefore there is a factor all the R for one, R for two, R for three, R for four, uh, range from zero to one. And uh, uh, in the battery case, we don't want to get to uh, like overdrawn in capacity. So maybe you said a minimum in that particular case, CP was 10% of reminder rem remaining, then we will charge it up and fall it. Okay, here's the energy storage system and my time is a little short. So I'll zip through the energy uh, storage. You have many factors uh, to look into for the safety purpose. And the capacity is ramping up uh, it was a tremendous uh, development in this area. Currently, um, we have seen the PG&E and also the Chinese utility companies uh, worldwide. There are very good uh, high uh, capacity of energy storage. That enables us to fully utilize the all energy sources. Uh, the energy blockchain, as I mentioned earlier, can be uh, looked into three sections. Uh, and this graph showing you three layers of order in a smart world, namely a virtual world where there's a programming run in the background uh, with uh, intelligence. Also tech science world. Uh, and well, now we are uh, as the researchers and developers working on. There is the physical world, uh, it's uh, obvious. And we look into a case of a mega city. This paragraph, this slide showing you a broad picture of the power supply in a major city called Guangzhou, China. And break down the uh, sector using most of the energy are three areas. One is for the telecommunication users. Transportation also takes up uh, a huge amount of uh, the energy and uh, business costs uh, uh, lots of power as well. Uh, roughly all these take up about um, equal amount uh, reaching a major uh, percentage of the power. And uh, the graph shows uh, its illustration with different sources of energy. I have to go through very quickly for the principle of uh, product and uh, apply applications. So here is Mr. Einstein. He got Nobel Prize for this discovery of the photon energy related uh, converting electron to electricity. And the uh, graph is from uh, the Sweden. 
let's look at different uh, products with a solar PV. And uh, here is a typical show uh, how different uh, technology, including silicon, polysilicon, uh, gallium arsenide, and thin film technology. The next emerging uh, solar PV is the peroxide. And the um, peroxide uh, uh, has uh, reached well over 27% of efficiency and also uh, with very uh, low cost in production. Uh, the challenge in lifetime is improving very well. And I'll skip this slide showing um, the application for the rooftop and residential area. I'll take uh, the precious time to uh, display our uh, company product. We have worked on uh, this uh, areas for the power generation, solar, and uh, thermal, as well as the solid state cooling. Uh, and the lower uh, portion showing is the application for vaccine. We have uh, very good low temperature uh, for transportation. And the takeaway is that we can significantly improve for the renewable energy in terms of their usage. And I have looked into the value dependency law in terms of EBC, and also looked into some values as well as the energy storage area. Finally, I would like to acknowledge and appreciate my team. Without them, uh, it's nearly impossible for us to achieve that many work done and also many products. This is a small uh, team working on that. I have a larger team over a dozen people.